Sean from Ace Appliance in Toledo, Ohio. Welcome back to another in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com. We have a uh, Whirlpool top load washer. Uh, complaint is that it uh, doesn't seem to be advancing throughout the cycle. Um, so basically we're just going to turn the unit on, uh, monitor the operation and uh, go from there. Okay, so what we've done, we've set the timer here as close as we can to the nine minute mark. I'm just going to pull it out and uh, let it start its wash. And then we're just going to monitor it. Um, this isn't exact as far as minutes, but roughly from this point here in three minutes, it should be at the six, six minutes, then up to the next mark, etc. But like I said, it's not an exact science. So uh, we're just going to let it go and then uh, going to monitor the operation for the next few minutes. Okay, so the unit's been on about eight or nine minutes already. Where we left it at was at the nine minute mark. It hasn't moved at all. So we've got a bad timer. We'll go ahead and drain the water out for the customer, get an estimate together for them to see if they'd like to replace the timer. All right, our customer complaint was that the unit wouldn't advance to the cycles. Uh, so what we did, we went ahead and put it at a, uh, a point where we could uh, uh, monitor the timer advancing. Uh, there's a mark on the panel, so we put it there so that way we could uh, make sure see if it was advancing. Put it on, let it run for you know almost 10 minutes, and didn't advance at all when it should have advanced onto the next cycle. So by doing that, we know the timer needs to be replaced. Thank you for watching another quality in-home diagnostic video brought to you by Appliancevideo.com.